Hey everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for May 29th through June 4th. Yes, June. How did that happen? I just can't even believe it's June. It's just crazy. But here it is. <clears throat> so I'm using Angel Wisdom Tarot cards for the Energetic Weather Report as well as your Archangel of the Week. So let's start there. So for card number one, this is it. Do you feel drawn to card number one? Or maybe you feel more drawn to card number two? Or card number three? Or card number four? So Sunday. Um, Sunday is five of fire. It's a card I talked about in my blogs uh, a couple of weeks ago. So card the five of fire is a card that talks a lot about conflict with others and that's the the general thesis um, that most people take um i very often think that it is conflict that we are feeling from other people but it is them mirroring something back to us that's about ourselves that needs to be resolved and so i had uh, the wonderful Dan Craig create this card with a bunch of mirrors. And that's how you get the five wands is that there's the four wands in the mirror and the one wand that the young man is holding. Now, <clears throat> I think what I want to also say is maybe, just maybe, that on Sunday, because this is a good week, okay? This is a good week, the cards are good. But maybe on Sunday, we're just feeling reflective. Pardon the pun, mirrors, reflective. <laughs> But maybe we're just feeling reflective. Maybe we're just going inward. And maybe we're a little challenged by what we see or how we feel about things. And so maybe that's really just what that card is. After that, things get really good. And what's interesting is that there's a lot of cards in here that are interpreted to be about romance. So the next card is the lover's card. And the lover's card can mean a choice from the heart. But given that we've got the lover's card, the knight of water, the ace of water, I wonder if something is going on in our romantic lives. If we're having an experience of some sort of rejuvenation, if we're in relationships, or if we're not in a relationship and we would like to be, maybe this is the week where something really happens. But Monday is the lover's card. And that's a very, very powerful card when it comes to relationships. But like I said, it can be a choice made from the heart. But then again, on Tuesday, we have the Knight of Water, the Knight of Water. So the Knight of Water is this, uh, in, in, from a romantic standpoint, is someone who comes in and like just sweeps us off our feet, <laughs> completely sweeps us off our feet. But it can also be an experience that sweeps us off our feet that is not necessarily romantic, but very, very emotional. On Wednesday, we have one of my absolute favorite cards in tarot, the sun. So great, um, great opportunities, great recognition, success, these things coming into our life, followed by the world, another card that talks about great success and bringing things to fruition. Um, so, you know, it's, are you getting this theme here? So that's Thursday. Then on Friday, we have Ace of Water, which is like the card, a card, another card that talks about like the, the first blushes of love or the first blushes of something deeply emotional in a very positive way that like comes into our lives. Um, and then the only other day that's a little bit challenging is Two of Earth. Um, two of Earth is a card where we're juggling too many things. Maybe we're juggling multiple jobs, but maybe in all of this, um, all of the things that seem to be happening this week, that are really, really positive cards, maybe we're trying to juggle that. Maybe we're trying to find enough time for all of the good stuff that's showing up for us in the week of May 29th through June 4th. So if you were drawn to card number one, then you've got Archangel Gabriel on your side this week. She's the Archangel of Communication, Creativity, motivation, helping. So, you know, it's like with all of this stuff going on, you know, it's like she's also the Archangel of the Annunciation. And there's that Venus sign, Venus, the planet of love. All right. So <clears throat> for if you were drawn to card number two, it's Archangel Metatron, grounding and focus. Let me tell you what, 
if this guy has popped into your life, you will need Metatron to keep you grounded and focused for sure. Also a great uh, Archangel for manifestation. Um, if you were drawn to card number three, you've got Archangel Jeremiah, and the, an archangel that is very much about our intuitive gifts, but also the archangel that helps us to look forward into the future to what do we want. And if you're drawn to card number four, it's Archangel Jophiel, the Archangel of Beauty, helping us keep our thoughts positive. This is a card of faith, helping us to stay in a place of faith, because if all of these things are happening in our lives, you might be challenged to go, oh my God, is this real? Is it real? Is it real? Looks real. So, okay, you guys, do everything with this that you can. All right. Have a good day and a week.